It's your girl Missy here back with another one here to give death predictions for Raising Cain in season three. I tried to do death predictions before the season and again after episode eight. Please do me a favor and list your death predictions in the comments. In this video, I will do what I always do and list almost every character in the show and mark them either safe or at risk of dying. This list will most likely grow because there are new characters that we will be introduced to this season. Here are the people that are safe in season three. Obviously safe because they are in OG Power, Arcana, and Jukebox. These are the others that I have marked safe. Raquel, obviously because her and Kanan are the stars of the show and there's just no way they could be getting rid of Raquel in season three. Lulu and Marvin, Kanan's uncles. I do not see them leaving in season three because they have so much more story to tell and I think a lot of family secrets may still be revealed this season. I think killing either off would be way too soon. I eventually think that Raquel will probably push Marvin to the limits and if anything, I think Marvin has the potential to end up back on drugs. I don't want to see that because I like Marvin, but I do think that's in his future. Up next as safe is Stefano. I think Stefano and Raquel will be doing business this season and plus we just met him at the end of season two. So no, I do not see him going anywhere this season. Now this could change once the season starts and I'll be sure to update you all. Famous. I know a lot of people think we may lose him this season and y'all could be right. I do think that we will eventually lose Famous, but I don't think we'll be losing him in season three. Adina, this was Burke's ex-girlfriend. As you can see here, Burke is back on her BS whispering to Adina. But for some reason, I think Adina is safe. I think Adina will be able to speak to Burke's concerns if something were to happen to Burke. So I think Adina may play an important role this season. Then we have Symphony. I'm not even sure if Symphony will be back, but I don't think there's a reason for him to go. And I'm hoping that they did bring him back for season three. Rock held off killing him last season, and I think she realized that she made an excellent decision. I went back and forth about this next one, but y'all, I'm marking Howard safe. My husband actually has Howard as a death prediction, so we'll see if he's right. But I think Howard will get into some trouble this season. We have new characters in internal affairs, so Howard better fall in line. Kanan already shot Howard. Anything is possible, but I think in season three, he's probably safe. That's a little risky, so I may change my mind on that one. What do y'all think about Howard? These next three characters are questionable. I am about 50-50 on whether they will make it out alive this season or whether they will die. I'm not 100% sure. Unique and Ronnie. I have some serious concerns about Ronnie being added to the cast this season. Ronnie is Unique's older brother. For those who don't know, I'm sure all of y'all know. You know, it got me nervous for Unique. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Now, when the season starts and Ronnie is acting crazy, I may change my mind. But we already know that Unique and Ronnie, they're going to be at odds. So it seems like one of them is going to be taken out. I would hate to see Unique go. He is one of my favorite characters. I think he is a standout character in Raising Canaan and man. So what do y'all think? Is Unique going to make it out this season? I'm about 50-50. And then we have Joaquin. It's really up in the air. I'm not really sure where they're going to take Joaquin's character this season. Juliana is family, so I can see why he sided with her. Plus, Juliana was snatched up by Unique, so I can see why Joaquin would side with his cousin in that situation. But on the flip side, I agree with Raquel because that's not how you do business. And he should have checked Juliana and made that decision. So he may have to go this season, but I wasn't 100% sure about him. So I'm about 50-50. Okay, let's get to the meat. The following characters, their life is on the line. And I do think that we will be losing them this season. First up, Sal Baselli. Sal has to go for this whole shootout that happened in the finale. There were people lost, there were people injured, and we should see in season three that this shootout is going to bring a lot of heat everyone's way. But Raquel is going to be working with Stefano, so at this point, Sal needs to go. And I really think the image from the christening is very telling. What if they come through bus and as soon as he steps out of this christening, that's going to be wild. Up next, one of my death predictions is Detective Burke. I think it's about time for an officer to go, y'all. While Burke is doing her job, she is messing around with some dangerous people, and she's also trying to do internal affairs job at the same time. 
I don't have a problem with someone doing their job, but there is a process in place because if you don't follow protocol, you can interfere and negatively affect the case, get yourself and others killed in the process. There are people walking free today and others dead today because of poor police work. So Burke just needs to tighten up, but I have a feeling it's too late. In the finale, she told Adina that Howard was setting her up and if something happens, it's not her fault. And then her relationship with the young girls, she's about to get in trouble and either be punished or most likely lose her job. That's why she's sad at her daddy house, but it's a little bit too late. She's about to find out in season three that Howard ain't a joke. And this punishment and losing her job may not be it. Her life may be on the line as well. Then we have Abraham and Trey Mont. I didn't like the mess that they pulled in episode nine and 10 with my girl Rock. So they used Rock to take Cartier out. Rock helped Abraham get out of jail. She told Tremont if they reach an agreement, she will handle Cartier. Tremont said they didn't have a deal until Cartier was dead. So they used her and then went around her and started working with the Connect, Joaquin. Then in the finale, they paid her for Cartier and getting Abraham off and wished her luck. Part of me can't be mad at them because it's a cold world. What they pulled was cold-blooded. It's a part of the game, but they are one of my death predictions for simply going around Raquel like they did, taking her connect. I feel like, you know, they're going to have to pay for that. Next, we got Miss Juliana. Juliana gotta go ASAP. Rock helped her get out of the situation with her husband. She has so much to say and was so spicy with Raquel but couldn't give her husband that same energy. So Tremont came to Juliana and they figured that there was a way to work together without Raquel. You know, Juliana will be getting hers in season three and I cannot wait. We will possibly also lose some Italians and some soldiers a part of Rock's organization once she starts to build her team back. We also have new cast members, Quan, Snap and Pop, Aisha, which I really want to talk about who she could be. And then there are some detectives. Um, since we have not seen any of these people yet, I'm going to hold off because I at least need to hear the sound of their voice. I got to at least see their faces before I decide what their fate will be. All right, cousins, what are your death predictions this season? Let's talk about it. All opinions are welcome. Please comment your thoughts. See you later. Woo.